Welcome back, it's Nick Baycott with KC95 here at Weber Chevrolet. And we're gonna talk about changing a tire. Some things will never change when it comes to changing a tire. But how about where those things are, are, are located, where they're stored nowadays? And any other changes that might have come along since the last time you actually changed a tire? I'm gonna have Mike help us out and go through what you could typically expect in 2012. What I like to tell people is bad things can happen to good people for the wrong reason. And one of the things that can happen, and boy, this summer has been tough with all the heat, has been tires. Uh, sometimes you're in a location. You can be out in the middle of nowhere where you either has no cell phone service or the road service says, I'll be there in four hours. you got to go. So what are you going to do? Owner's manual becomes your buddy. It tells you where the spare is at, which on most cars is located in the rear. Things have changed a little bit. Uh, the new Space Saver spares were on our second and third generation of them, so they last a little bit longer. They're a little bit lighter. Uh, all those tools are contained in the trunk, and they're trying to make them as ergonomic as possible and as strong as possible. Because everybody remembers years ago, the old bumper jacks, and you'd get the car up and, and it would almost fall on you. They have changed that quite a bit. The ratios are better. And by that I mean when you turn it, the, the ability for anyone who is a small in stature or tall in stature, they can get the car off the ground. The old rule is true, an inch is good as a mile. When that tire comes off the ground, then it's going to be safe to do that. But before that, we have to worry about other cars. So the vehicle needs to be in park. I need to have the parking brake on and the hazard flashers on. Just be aware of your surroundings. Once you've got those tools out of the back, the old tire that's either shredded or hurt is here. We take out our handy dandy Swiss Army lug nut wrench. Then I kind of simulating here, but if the vehicle was on the ground, you want to take these lug nuts and loosen them up to the point where you can just get that one good half a turn, no further when it's on the ground. Then you jack the vehicle up. That's going to give you the ability to be able to move this around. And just like my favorite old Christmas movie, if you lose one of the lug nuts out of the five, it's okay. You can. These are all temporary devices, so all we're looking to do is get the spare on that you've checked. It's got air in it, right? And nothing worse than putting on a spare that's flat and go on your 50 miles to gain service so you can either replace it, repair it, whatever you need to do. Again, the leverage is here. It makes it easy as pie. When you got your lug nuts off, put them in a pile, switch your tire, put this bad boy back on, and then going back together, that's it's kind of a subjective thing. Over-tightening a lug nut can be just as bad as having it too loose. So they've kind of got this, and it's one of those kind of things that guy practices with just enough force to where it kind of starts to stop. Go around in the same pattern that we had Yes, just where it stops. You don't need a whole bunch of torque at this time. So now we've got them all pretty much where they're tight because it could be snowing, could be ice, could be dirt. I want that wheel flat. Spin it around, let the car back down, then you can do your final tightening on the lug nuts. And again, it's not something that's going to be straining at. These will go down to about 100 foot-pounds and it's very easy to do. So if you grab the tire and just kind of push till, again, it's kind of a subjective thing. You get just a little bit of a shake, perfect. You can operate the vehicle at 50 miles an hour, 450 miles. They'll go a little longer than that, but that's what they tell you uh, that would be safe. Because everybody's seen cars driving around for weeks with these on it. They're not designed for that. They're designed to get you someplace safe exactly. and sound. Once again, when if you come in for us, we have to do this. All these tools get restored. We don't have to worry about stuff like that. We put it back for you. Get the fresh tire on, and you're free to go. So, very good. It happens. With that, it's Nick Baycott for KC95 saying, hope you learned a little something about changing tires. We'll see you next time. And once again, remember that uh, Weber Chevrolet is proving how in touch with modern technology they are by having their smartphone app. It's easier than ever to schedule an appointment, no matter what needs to be done to your car at Weber Chevrolet.